the most important part of the season? Yeah, the lads are great. It filled us with confidence this last week. I was starting to get everyone um, back together with Thomas and Ted and back in training. Um, yeah, we're, we're up for it. We're up for the fight. And that's what it's going to be now for the next nine games. Team news, please. End of this for this weekend. Not good. <laughs> we're, we're missing everyone, plus, um, you know, that we had before and Chio as well now. She obviously got injured on, on international duty as well. So, um, it got so bad earlier in the week that Kev Foley had to train in the opposition and Kev Foley tweaked his hamstring as well, so I'm losing, I'm losing staff as well as players now. Nope. No. Um, playing Spurs away is, is not going to be an easy task. You managed to really challenge them back in October, but they will try to, to, they will try to bounce back after their defeat against the uh, against Fulham recently as well. Yeah, they're a brilliant team. They're a brilliant team, even if we haven't got 10 players missing. But So it's, we know how hard it's going to be. Um, but uh, no, let's 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 go let's go and attack this now. We're going to give it absolutely everything. They're a brilliant team. They play quick. They're very bright. So you know, individually they're excellent, and then really well coached as well. They're very clear in what they do. It's very hard to play against as well. They've got you know some players who have fixed positions, and then a lot of movement and rotation as well. A lot of freedom and fluidity within the structure and the shape and how they play. Um, love watching them play. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully, I'm sort of we're able to cope with it on the weekend. But um, yeah, they've 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 done great this year, and they've um, you know to to sort of change very quickly how they play, and they're able to do that really quickly at the start of the season. So pose loads of threats. Really difficult game for us, but you know it's the next opportunity for us, and we're really looking forward to it. It's a couple of weeks away, we're coming off the back of a um, a well earned point in the end against Forest. So. Um, so yeah, let's let's go. We spoke about the players and their body language and the confidence. Um, I was wondering, from your point of view, as a, as a manager, first season for yourself managing the Premier League, what did you learn about yourself and your management style as well during the journey so far? Uh, I, I think we're constantly learning, and and even if I, uh, you know, if I'm still in this kind of role in ten years' time, I still will be as well, and hopefully I'll be um, getting better. I've improved. Um, but I'd like to think all of the staff and all of the players have as well. We've learned a heck of a lot. This league is is really ruthless. But what we've shown is we can compete at this level. You know, we've competed with, with everyone in, in, for large spells in, in many games this year. So that's given me a lot of confidence and belief as well that what we do is is good and, and it's the right way of working. So um, I've learned there's too much to say now. Learned learned loads, but I'd like to think that's because we're open to it as well and we accept that we don't know it all. Um, and uh, yeah, going up against the best, it can only make you better. You're above the relegation zone and in control of your own destiny. Uh, is that a scenario that you imagined before the start of the season? Yeah, we believed in in um, in ourselves as a group. We believed ourselves as, as a football club. Um, you say we were above the line at the moment. I I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe we are. Maybe we're not. But. It is still in our destiny anyway. I, I believe you know we're in control of it. We got to we got to pick up wins. We got to pick up points. And um, you know you're right. It's a critical stage of the season. But we've always, we always believed. I think my you know my first interview at the beginning of this season would have been, yeah, we can do this. We know it's a huge challenge. But um, if we'd have been going into this season not believing, then that have been you know we wouldn't be in the position that we're in now. Thank you. You want? Well, just the, the two teams either side of you have asterisks by their name at the moment. That uncertainty can't be healthy, can it? It's not something that we think about. I mean, um, yeah, we, we're aware. Of course, we're aware of it. I mean, who's not? Everyone is. Even if you're not a football fan, I think at the moment you're aware of the situation, what's going on. But you know, you know, we can only control what we can, and that's trying to get as many points as possible. And if we don't, it doesn't really matter what goes on. Points deductions or not, you know, appeals and, and being successful or not. So it's a really strange situation. It's difficult to talk about because it's not happening directly to us, but we're obviously we're involved in it. Um, but again, the, the right thing to say in it because it is the right thing to do is just control us, and work as hard as we can, and try and get the points required. And we won't really know how many of those points. <laughs> we won't really know. Um, what it is going to take, 
what we've got to try and do is finish, up, finish above them, and that's it. That's all we can try and do. Thank you. Just want to go on to that, Rob. Um, I think Andros called it a mockery if it goes like this. I know you don't want to speak too much about it, but the players must be talking about it. Everyone's talking about it because it's this ridiculous situation we've got ourselves in. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's unique. It's it's different. Um, I think the, the the bit that will be, uh, I think I, I used the word mental or something in an interview earlier a few weeks ago was if it goes beyond, you know, the end of the season. I think that's the bit that's going to be challenging for everybody. <clears throat> but I'll bring it back to look, we we you know if it does then it it does. But we have got to make sure that we're in that mix. And so if we don't do our job and we don't get the points required and we're not in that mix, then it doesn't matter at all. So it is it is unique. I know just, everyone's talking about it because you know, for it to happen to two football clubs and, um, in a season, I, you know, it's not happened before. So And the stakes are so high because it's the Premier League now and, the, the, you know, everything, not just, you know, it is, but the money is huge and what it's worth. So... You know, I get the question. I know everyone is talking about it. I know the lads will talk about it, but it's not something that when we're sitting sat in here as a group, and you know, it's not something that we're going to say, right, let's let's bank on this. We can't. So you know, we'll try and steer clear of that conversation as much as possible. It's probably more one for Gary, isn't it? Because how can he plan for next season and the recruitment guys when you're not going to know until I don't know when? Well, yeah. Again, it, we got we got to try and make sure it is. In our hands, and you know, the point there's enough points available to us to to be out of that conversation. And I, I know that's really difficult for us. As we know we've got a lot of tough games to go, but you know, we, our aim, and, and I'm sure everyone's aim, is to try and make sure that come the final whistle on the last day of the season, they're not involved in that conversation. And we've, we've got enough points by hook or by crook. Um, but if it does go beyond, yeah, I mean. It's, you know, it's just going to be a, it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that as and when if that happens. Back to the football, what is Obene's situation? Because obviously he played in the first game for Ireland yeah. and then had to pull out the second. Yeah, he felt a uh, um, hamstring which which turns out to be a tendon in his, uh, in his hamstring. Um, so he uh, reported it, I think at half time he was feeling awareness and then he, he came off or into the second half. Um, tried training a couple of days later, but um, yeah, unfortunately, there's there's something there. We we got him back as soon as we you know he came out of the training session, and then um, we've scanned him, and we'll, we'll we'll see how he reacts now. But it's probably going to be a few weeks. Um, so it's just yeah, it's just how it's going at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a blow for us uh, clearly. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to just see how he responds now to to the treatment and the recovery, how he recovers. What's the time scale of some of the others? Because we thought by now, perhaps the Conga, perhaps uh, Anderson, and perhaps Adebayo. Mm. All th all three of those have, have been working so hard behind the scenes. The staff have as well behind the scenes. We've had a few recurrences of when they've been trying to come back. Um, so. Sambi, um, we're hopeful over the, you know, it's still going to be weeks, I think, but he's out on the grass there today and doing some work. Eli's not. Um, Mads, it's, it's been sporadic on the grass, then not again. So, yeah, the, it, it, Eli will be, you know, we're really hopeful at some stage, the, but that'll be the tail end of the season, right towards the end, I think. Um, we're more hopeful we might see a bit more of Sambi. Uh, Mads still don't know, still don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? I mean, 10 first team players out at any club would be difficult enough, but for Luton, mm. it almost feels like, how can they get through this? Um, well, we will, we will, and I'm, I'm convinced of that. And when I look into these players' eyes and, and talk to them, I'm convinced of that, and I know they believe me as well, and I know they, they believe in what we're doing, so we're up against it. There's no doubt about that. Um, we're up against it with a fully fit group, but we've got a lot of senior players, big players, important players that are missing, and it, you know it, it is hard to beat your best. Then, but what it's going to do, it's going to it's going to fuel us. It's going to make us stronger as a group, and we're going to fight even harder. That's what it's going to make us do. These next two games, Arsenal, Tottenham, obviously very difficult away from home. We know that. 
the Bournemouth game. Well, I think we're already looking ahead, aren't we? And if those players might be back for some of those other ones, I'm not writing these ones off. <laughs> Sound like you are, Jeff. <laughs> I'm not. I know they're difficult. Um, but if you could get the players back, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're, we're, look, we want them back tomorrow um, for training before Tottenham. But yeah, I, I get your your, your point. Um, we, we know how important, those, especially the home games, are going to be now. You know, the rest of the season, and we're trying. We're working really, really hard to try and get as many as many, or uh, you know, even if it's one of them, come back and help. Um, but that might be too soon. That might be too soon, just so people understand where we're at. Um, I don't want to get too many people's hopes up, um, but we'll, we'll certainly try. A quick one on Tottenham. Look, they've got so much talent, haven't they? They play at that really high line, yeah. possibly the highest in the league. If Van de Ven isn't playing, that, he gets them out of trouble, doesn't he? He's so quick. I bet you'll be hoping that. He, he, I mean, he is. He's, when you watch him, and you know, we've been able to watch a lot of Tottenham because of the length of time that we've had to prepare. I mean, he's, he's an incredible athlete, and, and he's been a brilliant player this season for them. Um, you're right; they've got a, a really unique way of playing. It's really difficult to play against as well. So, um, yeah, they're, you're right. Fast, really bright and sharp, and you can sort of you know where everyone's going to be or go. There is people that ro will rotate, and James Madison obviously be you know one of those players that could pop up almost anywhere. Um, but uh, yeah, stopping it is is, is difficult, and uh, and and yeah, that's obviously credit to them, credit to their talent, and they're just the real brightness of really top international footballers. Um, so we're looking. For, I mean, this yeah, it's it's just you know, the next few games are going to be as hard as you get in the league, and and, and in world football. You know, and uh, so let's have a right good go at it. And we're re we're ready for it. You know, we're gonna we'll give it a good go. We're gonna step forward. The last uh, looking the other day, the last 15 games, there's only four teams that have scored more goals than Luton Town in the Premier League. You know, that's a good chunk of the league. You know, we're at, we're at our best when we're on the front foot and when we attack. And I know that can at times leave us a little bit exposed. But if we're going to try and win games, we've got to try and score. And so we're not going to change. We're going to keep working to get better and work hard. Uh, on trying to get the balance of keeping the back door shut as well, which is really difficult at this level. And I think most teams are struggling to keep clean sheets in this league. Goals for fun, isn't there everywhere? But um, but we're going to keep attacking and trying to win games. That doesn't care. I don't care where we're going. We're going to Tottenham. We're going to Arsenal. We're going to City in the next four games. We're going to go and try and win those games. I know that sounds silly, but that's what we're going to do.